Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, game of Wingspan. I am recording in uh, Afterthought uh, and because I re had a really really interesting game here. Um, uh, it doesn't look like too much uh, from the opening hand. Uh, I take the Barn Swallow and the um, uh, and the Diet Specialist card uh, and also take the Hermit Rush. Uh, now the reason I want uh, the Hermit Rush is so we can gain more food. Uh, but What's really caught my eye is the Gala uh, lying in the bird tree. And since we are second, I hope that you maybe, maybe can pick it up. Um, and yeah, usually in a human versus human game, you can't pick it up uh, since it will go first, but uh, we can pick it up here in this uh, bot game. And uh, yeah, uh, this video is just uh, to show you how powerful uh, some of the most powerful cards can be uh, when played. Uh, uh, correctly, uh, as you as you will say. So uh, first, we uh, need to decide in what order we want to do things. Uh, I decided to play the hermit uh, trash first, as uh, we are uh, in the. Oh, uh, I, 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 I whoa, whoa. yeah. Uh, I first, I'm debating whether or not to play the gala uh, in the forest or in the uh, or in the. Um, in the grasslands. Playing it in the grasslands means you already have a bird there that will gain two points every turn in addition to all the eggs, which is really, really uh, rich once you get to the end game. And uh, yeah, um, I decided, decided that I want to uh, do that. Uh, I then placed the Hermit Rush first so we can gain uh, three foods every time we gain food. Or of course, our opponents will also gain uh, one dice from, from the bird feeder every time we activate it, uh, as long as. Um, as long as uh, they are uh, on pair with uh, the amount of birds we have in the, have in the forest, but I'm fine with that. Uh, secondly, I will place the Barn Swallow before I play the Gala, just because um, uh, having the Barn Swallow, uh, or I'm, I'm misremembering this apparently, uh, but yeah, uh, I think placing the Barn Swallow before the Gala is important, uh, just because if anything um, uh, comes up in the bird trade that we really, really want, uh, already having the barn solo there uh, would um, uh, gain us a point and a card uh, compared to doing it the other way around. But it didn't happen, so um, no fall there. So uh, then we are laying eggs uh, on uh, whatever, and we are, uh, of course, we are. Uh, making sure that we can have excess room on our star habitat um, or star nest uh, in case uh, we get some free uh, get some free stuff but uh, I don't think we get that the entire game but uh, it's nice to be prepared for that uh, and then we are just picking up uh, high power cards uh, when we can and uh, yeah uh, I, Maybe sacrifice the yellow-headed uh, blackbird here and uh, pick up another random card. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the start of the game. Um, so currently we have uh, the ability to look at three cards every time we activate wetlands. We get four points every time we activate the grasslands, and we get three food every time we activate the forest. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, checking uh, to see whether or not we are the only ones getting free food, uh, but uh, yeah, we can't always, always only get that. Um, but I don't mind uh, other players also getting free food since uh, we just have a much powerful engine going. And uh, we, yeah, uh, we can uh, get that, uh, get that rates uh, multiplying faster than the opponent. Uh, so uh, we are now going into round two. Uh, I believe we are playing the Northern Harriet uh, Harrier in the grasslands pretty fast uh, because I want to build up uh, cards that can generate points in the grasslands and uh, maybe also build up uh, uh, birds that can uh, house a lot of eggs. And uh, yeah, unless I see something uh, good in the uh, bird feeder, I'm just going to pick uh, random cards. The Spoonbill is a pretty decent one uh, for more uh, for more points, and the Purple Martin uh, will also gain us uh, more points in the grasslands, uh, as we just tuck and uh, draw a new card every turn. 
and we are getting a lot of free cards uh, from uh, that opponent that has the uh, that uh, card. Uh, so uh, that means that we always have something to tuck and cycle uh, to our purple Martin. So, uh, <coughs> uh, I am slightly worried that somebody will pick up the common cuckoo, but uh, I don't think uh, it's important enough for me to um, pick up and build myself, since we are going to uh, be laying tons of eggs, and uh, yeah, uh, we need more food, so I'm uh, planning to, I think I'm playing, planning to play the Rosette Spoonbill now, and uh, yeah, uh, just uh, taking the food for this place and I see uh, the common raven uh, I really want to come a raven uh, and uh, yeah uh, I think I also cycle that card I pick up the yeah another bob uh, and yeah uh, now there is <laughs> not no looking back uh, every time I um, every time I activate the uh, the uh, uh, grasslands after I play the the raven, uh, I will be getting uh, uh, three or four eggs. Um, no, no, uh, I will be getting two or three eggs, two two nectars. I'll cycle a card. I may, might get one point, and I will always get uh, two more points. So um, yeah, uh, our grasslands is uh, looking disgustingly good now. Getting all the nectars we need to um, be rep represented in all the habitats, and uh, yeah, it's just a really nasty looking game for our opponents. Uh, I played the Raven, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, now just a question of how much points are we actually getting uh, from this game. In uh, 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 in round three, we are starting by laying eggs. I think uh, we are also cycling a card to pick up the Canada Goose. We are getting free grains for it, and uh, yeah, we can uh, use the Raven to get even more grains. And it's just it's just um, a perfect. Uh, perfect uh, game coming together in the before rise so if we are sacrificing an egg to the raven after we play the Canada goose we will um, we will gain three eggs uh, two points from the Canada goose uh, two points from the gala and uh, one point from the purple Martin maybe a point from the Harrier and that's uh, one two three four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points every activation. It's disgusting. The only thing uh, that's bad about uh, this is that we only have 17 egg spaces. Uh, so we also need to be spending a few turns uh, to play uh, cards. Uh, just because we don't have... Um, we don't have uh, enough egg space to make the most out of it. And that's just, yeah, 10 points every activation is ridiculous. Uh, and we have uh, <laughs> seven more, uh, uh, seven more cubes left uh, in uh, in this game. So yeah, uh, now we are uh, laying more eggs, and uh, we are just uh, doing uh, what this engine wants to do. Uh, we are. Uh, taking nectar and we are taking grain and we are cycling cards hoping to draw the really really good ones and uh, yeah having luck and we are gaining uh, gaining cards left and right and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a really 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 good engine it's the, it's a dream engine actually And now I think we are playing. Uh, I, I think I wanted to play the little penguin, uh, but uh, I uh, saw the uh, European uh, goldfinch uh, in the tray, and I thought, uh, nope, I actually really want to have uh, that bird instead. We have the nectar to play it, uh, so um, 
I also prepare uh, for the next round uh, by taking more grains. I do know that I need to play one bird for nectar uh, in the wetlands to uh, to get the points uh, for that. Uh, other than that, I really wanted the goldfinch. They uh, uh, gain points uh, for opponents uh, tucking. Uh, it's maybe too late uh, to actually play this uh, efficiently this game, but uh, it is one of my, one of my favorite birds, and I um, wanted to pick it up. So, uh, round four, uh, we are just picking up nectars for a little penguin. Uh, maybe we're picking up something better along the way. Uh, laying eggs and uh, tucking uh, a disgusting amount of cards. I believe I also eat one uh, egg too many uh, compared to what's um, actually needed. Uh, but in the big scheme of things, I don't think it um, has too much of an impact on the overall score. Since the score is already uh, going to be pretty disgusting. Uh, that's another attack point. And uh, we are uh, doing the engine once more. And uh, yeah, discarding uh, grains, discarding eggs, taking nectar, and uh, taking a card from hand to pick up the common blackbird, which we don't really care about. Uh, we, don't, we don't get the tuck there, but that's fine. Uh, we still get uh, eight points that activation since we ate uh, ate an egg, and uh, now we will play the penguin, I think. Mm, okay, it's next turn. Uh, we are um, we are fishing for a maybe better card first. And uh, yeah, that's why I was uh, uh, maybe putting uh, too much uh, effort on picking up nectar. So now we are playing uh, two birds. Uh, now we are playing the Rose Presents Boom Spoon Mill, and we are not playing the Penguin, we are instead activating the engine. Yeah, that's what's uh, happening. Sorry about that. Uh, we get to totally forgot. Not going to worry about that. We are playing the Resade Spoon Mill because of the potential of the big points. Uh, it's a slight whiff. Uh, we gain four points from the uh, side selection expert. And uh, yeah, uh, that's just the only way we can translate these extra bonus points into some points. Uh, it's a nine point uh, play, so it's not a bad one since we pick up uh, ten points and just spend one egg. Uh, and yeah, now we can just. Uh, just uh, waste those three extra nectars. Uh, playing a little penguin would net us additional six points while just activating the engine is uh, ten. So, yeah. Um, when I went through it in my head, I was like, is it really bad to play the penguin at this time? Uh, and I just did the math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we get at least 9 points, maybe 10, and uh, yeah, it's just a ridiculous engine. So, how many points do you think uh, this is? Post your guesstimates down in the, uh, down in the comments, uh, and uh, yeah, we will have the uh, correct answers really, really, really soon. Here we are. It's always a pretty promising, uh, pretty promising thing when you are done counting the bird cards uh, and you haven't even passed the one fourth, uh, one fourth check mark. And uh, yeah, um, we are now past uh, one hundred, and we are counting tons and tons of uh, tons and tons of tucked cards. And uh, yeah. Also winning the nectar and uh, one fifty-five. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty good score. 
thanks for uh, following this game. Hopefully you will now know uh, a little bit more about uh, how to play a good opening hand. And uh, this is Harbinger, and uh, Harbinger is out. <laughs>